Light me up, don't you stop Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride Holy wow, good morning. I am so tired. It was such a good workout. Um, yes, I am amped right now. And you know what today is, it is Wednesday. It is time for me to take you guys through another what I eat in a day. This is going to be so keto, like keto AF. I am going to be taking you guys through a few new recipes and I'm really excited. So if you guys are into this vlog, which I hope you are, it's going to be a vlog style. So you're just gonna follow me throughout the day, see what I'm eating. I think we're gonna hit the grocery store. You're gonna check out some keto essentials that I need to grab and hopefully it will inspire you to make some clean eating choices this week so I hope that you guys love this if you do please make sure to give it I can't even talk I'm so tired please make sure to give this video a thumbs up please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more keto inspired day in the life vlogs or what I eat in a day's recipe and fitness tips please go ahead and hit that subscribe and come on let's go and see what we got going on for today All right guys, good morning. I am back, I am showered, I am looking decent, and I am ready for some breakfast. The time right now is 9.30, so I thought that I would make some cream cheese pancakes. And these are so awesome because they are only two ingredients. That's right, just cream cheese and eggs blend it up and I will definitely be making those for breakfast because they sound delicious. I got this recipe from Glow With Keto. I actually found her on YouTube here and I'll have her channel linked down below. She's got some amazing keto recipes over on her keto vlogs. So I'm going to go ahead and whip those up really quick for breakfast and then I'm going to get on with the day. So I really love quick and simple breakfast ideas like this and I'm gonna to top them with some Swerve confectioner sugar and some sugar-free syrup. You guys are gonna see, it's gonna be amazing. So this recipe is super easy. You're just gonna to wanna to crack four eggs and add four ounces of cream cheese to your blender and you're gonna to wanna to mix that up until it's smooth. And once you get a nice smooth consistency, you're gonna let it rest and you're gonna heat up your skillet. I like to use my grass-fed Kerrygold butter to fry my pancakes in, but feel free to use coconut oil or anything that you would like. All right, you guys, don't judge me. I am not the best pancake flipper. This batter is really thin, so you wanna make sure that your pan is really hot and buttered, and you wanna make sure that you have a nice, easy, slow pour to control the size of your pancakes. All right, so I picked up some of this Swerve Confectioner sugar and it's gonna give my pancakes a little bit of like the powdered sugar effect. So let's go ahead and do that really. As you can see, these pancakes are great for the entire family. There's some for my daughter, my husband, and there's my plate right there. And I am just going to top this with a little bit of sugar. And I love like French toast with powdered sugar. 
anything with powdered sugar basically and anything that I can kind of indulge in. And I'm sure this will be fun for my daughter too with less sugar, so it's like a win-win. I picked up this sugar-free syrup. This is just the Great Value brand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the sugar-free syrup for my pancakes and then I'm gonna use regular syrup for my daughter's and that'll be it. Hey, buddy. I had to get a baby. Um, You guys, these are so tasty. When I tell you that they taste just like pancakes, like they literally taste just like pancakes. So I'm just gonna enjoy these and then I'm going to get ready for the day. So these are delicious. Definitely make sure you try them, huh buddy? Aren't they good? Aren't they good? All right, you guys, so my mom is coming into town tonight and I am going to surprise her with a really good treat. It is a keto chicken parmigiana and I also got this recipe from Glow With Keto because I'm obsessed with her channel. So anyways, it is just these chicken thighs and I'm going to cook them down in my slow cooker. She used an instant pot in her recipe, but I don't have an instant pot, so I'm just gonna increase the time here. I'm gonna cook them on low for about eight hours or so. I'm gonna cook them on high, I'm sorry. I'm gonna cook them on high for about five or six hours just to kind of get them cooked down nice and tender. And I'm just gonna throw them in the crock pot with some chicken broth and that's it. I am gonna line my crock pot with um, these Reynolds Slow Cook Liners. These things are amazing if you're a mom who's busy and wants to limit your mess because let me tell you, it is nice to not have a mess to clean up after you make these. So I am literally just gonna dump the chicken right in there. So all that I'm gonna do is add the chicken thighs to the crock pot with some chicken broth or bone broth and I'm gonna let this do its thing and cook for eight hours on low. Hey guys, so I just got back from the grocery store, so I figured I would give you guys a quick little tour of everything that I picked up today. All right, so I did pick up some fruit for the family. These are um, just pineapple, watermelon, cantaloupe, and then I got some bananas and some grapes. Can you guys believe it that freaking strawberries are like $10 a pint right now? So I guess that I will not be able to indulge in some good old fruit. I have some blueberries and some blackberries in my fridge, so that will get me through, but unfortunately I can't have any of this stuff. Um, I've got red onion and white onion, and then over here I've got cucumber, tomatoes, lettuce. Um, I get a thing of baby spinach every week. I have some cilantro here because I'm going to do some Mexican style dishes this week. I've just got a Caesar kit, and then I've got some leafy romaine. Um, we are, it's Valentine's Day on Friday and we're gonna do a nice chicken, um, like a keto Parmesan chicken meal and I'm gonna have a keto uh, Caesar salad with that. I'm not gonna have the dressing, so pretty much everything in here I can have besides the croutons, which is fine. Um, then I got some broccoli, then I got some Boom Chicka Pop and some pretzels. I actually won't be having any of those, but my mom's coming, so I wanted to have some snacks on hand for her. I got some stew beef because I am going to be making a keto beef stroganoff and I'm super excited about that. So I got some stew meat for the crock pot for that. I got some, oops. I got some cream cheese, a ton of cream cheese, like three things there. And this was an impulse buy, but I'm super excited to try this. It is heavy whipped cream, like whipped heavy cream. I'm so excited about that. The specs on here are pretty good. Two grams of fat, one gram of carb, one gram of sugar, but I love having like yogurt um, or like fruit and stuff with whipped cream on top or like sometimes I'll put it in my coffee, so I'm really excited to try that. I got some sour cream and then I got different cheeses. I got Parmesan and Romana, mozzarella, sharp cheddar. Uh, you always have to have cheese on keto pretty much. Uh, you don't have to, but I love it. Too Good, I have talked about this yogurt before in other What I Eat In A Day videos, but honestly, Too Good yogurt is the bomb.com, you guys. It is amazing. Let me see if I can get this to focus here. Bam, so 80 calories, three grams of carbs, 
12 grams of protein, two grams of sugar. That is their specialty, two grams of sugar in all of these yogurts. So like you cannot beat it. They've got amazing flavors. It's Greek yogurt consistency. It is really good, you guys. I highly recommend you guys to try too good. I got the peach flavor, coconut, vanilla, mixed berry, and strawberry. Those are like my favorite flavors, and everything is so good. I got a French onion soup mix because I am going to be making um, a recipe this week that calls for that. And I got some hummus here, roasted red pepper. Sabra is my favorite. I got some pepperoni slices because this is always a good snack with cheese. I got some sliced mushrooms for that beef stroganoff meal. And then I also got a cream of mushroom and a sliced mushroom can for that also. And this is a crock pot meal, the um, beef stroganoff. So I'm really excited. So. That is everything that I got this week. If you guys are interested in seeing maybe like a what I ate for dinner all week, keto style, definitely let me know because I try to incorporate meals that are keto but also something that I can add to them to make them like non-keto for my family. I hate having to make two separate meals. So that is something I'm really big on. So if you guys are interested in that, drop it down in the comments for me below and I'll definitely get something like that together for you. But I am going to put these groceries away. I'm going to get some lunch started. Um, my mom's almost here, so I'm gonna make some sandwiches really quick, and I'll show you guys how I do that for myself, keto style. All right, so the rest of the family's gonna have normal sandwich, but I'm gonna break out my good old carb balance tortillas. These things are the bomb, and I swear by them. I do eat a little bit more carbs than the average person on keto because I do breastfeed still, so I don't cut carbs out completely but I still get into ketosis fairly easily so I'm going to use that and then over here I've got everything that I'm gonna add so I've got mayonnaise mustard I'm gonna add some of these pepperoncinis. I've got a pickle some avocado and then I've got two kinds of cheeses provolone and Colby Jack I've got a little bit of tomato I'm gonna do some turkey breast and some salami and then I'm gonna add some spinach so what happened to us what happens to if you're not new here, then I'm sure you've probably noticed that I tend to stick to just three main meals and I tend to stay away from snacks. That's just because the nature of this diet is so filling. I find that I don't have much of an appetite outside of my mealtime. So I really do stick with just a breakfast, lunch, and dinner most times or some form of intermittent fasting. So that is something that I really love about this diet is that it doesn't require me eating a bunch of times throughout the day or constantly grazing throughout the day. I just get in my meals I get enough calories and I get enough nutrient dense and caloric foods that I just don't feel super hungry which I absolutely love come to mama this is about to get devoured <laughs> okay, so now that chicken is done, so we're just gonna go ahead and shred it and put it in a baking dish. And I've got my kids losing their stuff right now. Okay, so you guys are hearing the real nighttime hustle right now, but I'm gonna use this Glasgow roasted garlic tomato sauce. Um, if you can find one with less sugars in this, then definitely go for it, but I'm gonna heat this up here. I've got my oven preheated to 425, and I'm gonna just heat the sauce just to kind of get it going because we're late for dinner and we need to eat now. So because I didn't season my chicken thighs while they were cooking in the crock pot, I'm gonna go ahead and season the dish now. And I'm just using my Magic Four, just salt, pepper, garlic, powder, and then I'm going to be using a little bit of oregano along with onion powder, and I'm going to mix this all together. I'm gonna to add on top that sauce that I cooked on the stove. One thing that I would do next time is I would add two jars of sauce or I would make it a lot saucier because I find that the chicken really soaked up a lot of the sauce and it wasn't quite as wet as I like it. I think this is a personal preference, but for me personally, I just really love a really wet pasta sauce. So 
I'm gonna be adding on all of my cheeses there as you saw and these pork rinds I picked up on Amazon and I will have those linked down below for you guys. These are so good. They were nice and peppered and they give a really nice crunchy top when you put them into the oven and they cook like that. This is what gives it that Parmesan crusted top if you will. And I think that this turned out really, really amazingly well. I did burn it a little bit there, that's why it's a little dark, but this was so tasty, so juicy, so nice and amazing. You guys would love this dish. And tonight I just paired this with a side salad and all I had in there was mixed greens and some cut up veggies and this was our dinner and it was so delicious. I absolutely love this meal. I thought that it was super quick and easy. The entire family loved it. And that was it, you guys. This is everything that I ate tonight. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I do these videos every Wednesday here on my channel and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.